Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a double jump mechanic to your game. So let's get started. So if you follow along in our last tutorial, your code should look something along these lines, where we added a jump mechanic to our game, which allowed us to do a single jump, but we weren't able to reach that platform. So now we're going to add a double jump. And to do that, we need to add a jump counter to see to make sure we're not exceeding how many times we want it to jump. In this case, we just want to jump twice and then no more. So to do that, to add a counter, usually we can use a variable for this. So I'm gonna create a variable called jump counter. I'm gonna scroll back up to the top and I'm going to say set jump counter to zero. Next thing we wanna do is we're gonna change this condition down here. Because we want to test to see if our jump counter is above our second jump, that's what we're going to test for. So we're going to remove this, not hitting a wall, and we're going to use some logic, and we're going to use this one right here. And I'm going to throw our jump counter variable to the beginning, and we're going to test to see if jump counter is less than or equal to, and if you guessed one, you are correct. And the reason why we're putting it at one is if we're starting at zero, so the first jump will get us to one, and then if we increment up, our second jump will make us two. And so that's what we want to cut off. So as long as we're at one or less, that means we can keep jumping. So, if we test this out, you'll notice that we go forever. That's because we're not, we haven't changed our jump counter variable to any number, so it's stuck at zero, and as long as it's less than or equal to one, it's going to move up. So what we need to do is we need to change that variable. So we're gonna change jump counter by one each time we jump. And you'll see one, two, and then it cuts us off. But now we can't jump at all because our jump counter went up past one but we haven't reset it back to zero and so that's going to be the next step to do this and basically we want our jump counter to be zero anytime we're touching a wall or ground so anytime we touch something that is a wall so one of these platforms or the ground we're standing on right now um, we can set the jump counter back to zero so I like to do this with on game update, which is a really handy block for doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to test to see if we're touching the ground and if we are, then our jump counter is set back to zero. So we can grab another logic statement, so we're going to grab if, and we save this block from before, and we're going to say if player character is touching the bottom back to variables and we're going to set jump counter to zero so let's set this out so one two can't jump anymore one two but I can jump more so I can do this one two one two and I got it perfect and that's how you create a double jump for your game so I hope you found this helpful thanks for watching and good luck with your double jump